This is the third and final part of my Acura TLX review. The TLX replaces the TSX and the Acura TL. Unfortunately, even though it's larger than the TSX, it's smaller than the outgoing TL. My problem with the car is the front and rear seat is not very spacious, and considering this car with the tech packages is about $42,000, you'd get a lot more out of a Hyundai Genesis if space was your main option, or if that was the main thing you were looking for. Other than that, the only reason to even consider buying this car is because you're an Acura fanboy. I received a phone call this morning from Acura itself, and they were basically asking how did my visit with Acura go, and how did I like the car. I expressed my discontent with the TLX, and I explained to her my sh problems with it. I told her the things I liked about it, and I told her the things I didn't like about it. She asked, was there any way that we could earn her business, to which I replied, probably not. I think I would be in the market for a Mercedes-Benz C-Class 2015 long before another Acura. In the interest of being as thorough as possible, I split this video up into as many sections as I could in order to um, explain completely why I uh, feel that a vehicle is good or not. So this is the technology portion of the review. So basically, once you have the key, you just push the uh, start stop button. One time it says to start engine, you push the brake and push. However, if you push it a second time, you turn the engine on. Obviously, some of you are used to start stop, some of you are not, so I'm just letting you know. Okay, so it says the driver is responsible for safe operation, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is a non-touch panel up here. In order to activate that panel up there, it's very similar to the RTL, where down here you have to turn this knob in order to have access to things or to move the map, the map screen around, as you can see, right? Now, what they did was, I guess a lot of people complained that they were seeing touch screens on other cars, but that they didn't have a touchscreen in their Honda Accord or their Acura. And the problem was, back then, on that model year, these cars were very, very, very complicated, which I'm also going to put into this video, just to show you that, that while the TLX does have a less complicated system, it's the car itself is overall not as great a car because it's smaller than the TL. So anyway, here you have a touchscreen. If you want to touch for audio source, you can touch for audio source, AM, FM, yada, yada, yada. Bluetooth phone setup, iPod. I, if you have an iPad, you can hook that up too using USB. This is the touchscreen. That is not. It's exactly like the new Honda Accord with the tech package. If you want to get instant access to your phone, you touch the phone and the phone comes on. Do you want to set up a phone? Blah, blah, blah. If you want access to a nav system, obviously you push nav. If you want access to the vehicle info, you push info, trip computer, voice info, traffic incidents. If you have the Acura link, you're given nav traffic, which lets you know, you know, basically what's going on. And then there's audio, which gives you access to the car set. Yeah, because I was really shocked. Like, the TL is so much bigger. It's so much bigger. I'm amazed how much bigger the TL is. I'm really surprised that they would make it so much smaller for the TSX. Because usually the trend is to make these cars bigger. And the TSX, my knees are touching. And this one, mine's are not. Amazing. The, T the TL seems to be the better buy. It's just too bad they don't come with cooled seats. Even though this is very complicated. right there I, i'm really surprised like you could see how my knees are in this thing yeah. but you're right it's the glove box that glove box really well, it's does lower. it's the way the dash is set up yeah and, you might, and the height from the floor to the dash might be different also no, you're absolutely right but according to it looks nicer right though then the volume of the, the the cubic feet is the same mm. but doesn't mean it's going to fit everybody no you're absolutely right 